can. Alright guys, today for our opening bottles of bourbon and whiskey and such, we took a trip up to Fredericksburg and visited the A. Smith Bowman Distillery. Yep. Something we've been meaning to do for quite a while now, but finally got around to it. It's a nice Saturday out here. The weather was dreary, but we went in the car instead of the Harley Davidson. Oh, the tour is free, and at the end, um, the how many tasting? Three tasting. We do three tasting. Right? Four. No, the last one is water. Oh no, it was oh, water. No. So you start the tasting. You do the tour. They take you through. You can take pictures of everything. Except, Except for lab. the secret lab. Yeah, it just it's comes pretty through. cool. <laughs> there wasn't anything actually photographed in the lab anyways. As yeah. soon as you pass through there, you go into another room where the experimental barrels are. Mm -hmm. And they do let you take pictures again because a guy like tried to sneak take pictures and she was like, oh, it's okay to take pictures in here. He got caught. It was pretty funny. Oh, the lab. Yeah, because he was like sneaking around the corner. Oh, but the, the ladies that, oh, you cannot cross that line. Yeah, yeah. so uh, they showed us a bunch of stuff, like how they make the bourbon, where they make the, you know, the different steels, Mary and George are the steel names, and uh, that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I think Mary's the one they actually make the bourbon in, George and George is the other, high, uh, what do they call it, hybrid steel? I think. That they make like the vodka, they make the gin, gin, rum, it, everything. Mm -hmm. Um... So on the tasting after the tour, we actually started with a sip of water to kind of clean everything up, get ready to go. Mm -hmm. The first drink was the American vodka. Is it vodka? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's vodka. Go ahead. No. I'm not a vodka guy too I'm, much. I'm not either. Um, But the, the vodka is decent, it's smooth. Um, I don't know. I think mean, vodka usually tastes like really bitter to me, so I really hate that thing. But that one is really smooth. Like, you can't really taste it. Yeah, their vodka could be dangerous because you can't really taste it. You you could drink yeah. a lot. And, and they have one in citrus, right? You have, that one is citrus. Um, the American vodka, I think it had a little citrusy kick to it. I think they have other flavor as well. But, um, no, the vodka is just American vodka. The gin. Oh, yeah, yeah the gin has other flavor. So they did gin. They got their standard gin that they sell pretty much on the shelf in ABC. And then they have these. Uh, Lavender. Their master distiller made his own like experimental stuff. There was like three bottles. Um, one was lavender heavy, um, one was, what's those berries? I don't remember. Whatever those berries are but, that they use to make gin. But that the heavy. gin with taste is sound like fl floral. Yeah, like, very floral. It was, it was, for gin it was good. I'm not a gin guy either. Yeah, but over the last, but, uh, it's better than For that. gin it was pretty solid. I mean, they make yeah. a solid product. And then yeah, the bourbon we got to taste was the Bowman Brothers bourbon. Mm -hmm. So there's Isaac Bowman bourbon, there's Bowman Brothers bourbon, there's John J. Bowman, there's um, Abraham bourbon, and that's like a very special bottle. They had like ones on display, but they weren't for sale. You got to do like lotteries to get those kind of like super, yeah, super special bottles. They would drop um, the lottery on their Instagram or Facebook. You can check it out. And then to end the tour... First of all, the Glen Cairn glass, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but the, the little fancy glass that I used in the other video uh, jumped off the table the other day. It decided it was done with this world and yeah, basically like went two out. Days ago. <laughs> so, one of the things I did get from this tour is this. I don't know if it's going to pick up. There it is. Yeah, it's just their logo. John J. Bowman um, or A. Smith Bowman Eddie's A. Smith. logo new glass to replace the old one that decided it was done with its life of drinking and the other cap off the tour a bottle i've not been able to get from abc because they go quickly they put them on the shelf they go quick mm -hmm. and it was like basically the whole reason we actually went on this tour in the first Hopefully place we will get one uh i've seen the reviews that said sometimes they have it sometimes they don't um the lady that did our tour sherry told us we were lucky because today they had in stock oh. the single barrel John J. Bowman. And the reason it's dark in here, by the way, is because we had to 
move the phone up on top of the stove, which is where we're recording at, because last time it sounded like we, we were, were in like, water. Yeah, you know, we were underwater or something. The microphone was blocked off. But we did end up getting this. It's a John J. Bowman Virginia Straight Bourbon Whiskey Single Barrel. It is 100 proof. Can't see it, but it says limited edition, copper it, steel. The trench of the package was right? And I'll maybe post some pictures or something on like the comments of in the back of the bottle. Every every Bowman product has like pictures in the back of the bottle, like pioneerish kind of like characters. Just taste them. And oh, we're gonna show you some other things we learned today. How to properly taste oh, your forgot. bourbon. <laughs> And this is the segment where I struggle to open the plastic, like last time. No, this one's easy. This one's easy. Jack Daniels, get your plastic shit together. Nice cork pop. She doesn't know. I don't know, so I'm a newbie, okay. Uh, it's actually not bad. It's like a smoother than some of it. Some just like go through, like wasabi, just go straight to the middle. You know what I'm talking about? It's not like a strong alcoholic, like the alcohol burn isn't there. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Let's get a healthy little uh, pour. White pour the Hold plastic. On. I just seen there's more plastics out. I told you I struggle with the plastic. I just started to struggle with the shrimp. You can tell your shrimp story. Oh, I didn't tell my shrimp. Get all that plastic off there. There we go. Still easier than the jack. A nice little. That's not little. A nice healthy pour. I think this class is bigger than my. No, one. literally the same size. So, what I usually did was the swirl. She told us today, the lady that ran the tour, Sherry, not to do the swirl. She said to do the rock. Yeah, you see that? See that technique right there? Like a fucking. What's that word? What's the wine people to, to taste the wine and they're like fancy? What? You know the people at the fancy restaurants that taste the wine and they're like, Oh, I got notes of this and notes of that. And then, you know, the whatever those fancy people are that wear the suit and they go to serve your wine and they, yeah, those, those losers. But you do the twirl and you do a 45 degree angle. It's not bad. It's really not bad. And you're supposed to do this number too. You do it. Okay, I don't want to because you don't have to do the twirl. No, because you tilt the 45 why? degree angle and I just do this. Because of what she told us to do, I was a fucking struggle because I didn't even do it. This, that's right. <laughs> no, but the, like other people, I just I, I kind of like is secretly watching their moves. Like they do it really smooth, and I just like fucking recall that like, my hands are broken or something. Like I was like, Ugh, I was like, oh shit, I don't know. And it, this side I can't. And what am I supposed to do? 45 degree angle and then you're supposed to like go around with it and then open your mouth too. you do it do the open mouth but open you still mouth? smell but with your mouth opened a little bit because it it helps you bring in more it obviously works because <laughs> when she opened her mouth that was the no. <gasps> Dave? Oh, hi guys no. y'all remember Double. is that good Like a so, you taste it. How does it taste it? And then I'll tell you. What? <laughs> That's my favorite part. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> okay, I think I have fire coming out of my mouth right now. <laughs> No, it's a good. That's smooth to me. Hell um, fucking no, dog. Would you like to review it first? That dog. If you want a fire come on a fire coming out of your mouth, get this. Get one. the whiskey glass. The whiskey glass. The for what? rocks glass. For me. For yeah. Uh -huh. For this. So before I got this bottle, I did look it up and I read on like the different <laughs> Facebook groups and <laughs> and the um. Is it clean? A prop. I clean it. Yeah. It smells clean. I used it last night. No. Um, on the groups, they did say some action about 
the Bowman, John J. Bowman bottle here, 100 proof, single barrel, tasted like Blanton's, but 100 proof version of Blanton's, which I happen I to, mean, uh, this is a flex have right here with the, with the netting still on. I didn't take it off because I like the way it looks. Um, so we're going to do a little back-to-back -back comparison. I think just off the, the first taste, it does taste a lot like Blanton's. But I haven't had Blanton's in a minute. So I'm going to put some Blanton's in here. Because I didn't have uh, another Glen Cairn glass. I'll just pour a little bit. Oh, you gotta finish up. Just pour a little bit of that. I actually think they taste very similar to me. And the 100 proof John J. Bowman. Hold on, I the 100 proof John J. Bowman drinks smoother than the not, even true. not 100 proof Blanton's. I think Blanton is better. To a non bourbon drinker, I think this Blanton is better. Isn't it smooth? For Let me, me try it again. It's like, it's not like a spice. It's so not, that's Bowman, okay. It's, it's got really the. spicy, if you know me how to Yeah, the, the heat is the uh, proof. Yeah, that's like so this is lower proof. This is like 90 something. I can't. Yeah, that's why I'm always like blending is better to me. So she says blending's better. I'm gonna go for round two of these tasting here. This is the Blanton's. I mean, they're so close to me. They're very close. They're this, the Bowman totally does have that higher proof kick to it. Yeah. But when you're used to drinking neat. I think the Bowman drinks smoother, but I like 100 plus proof. So for a newbie, this does make sense to be better. Newbie. I just don't want a bourbon. Okay. Want to taste it again? Oh, that's so fire. Want to taste your blends again? No, I'm good. All right, I think that's about it. So we compared the Blantons to the John J. Bowman. If you ask me, I'm going to go with the John J. Bowman bottle over the Blanton's if I had to choose. But I have them both, so I don't have to choose. Hiya! Flex mode. You hit my glasses. Why'd you put your glasses in front of my bicep? You didn't buy bicep, but yes, this is our review. Hope you guys like it. And hope you guys taste it. Hope Actually, I think they're going to roll out soon, right? They do have a lot in stock today. Peace. Right. Piece they did have a lot in like stock, a couple pallet, pallets full. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure you guys are probably gonna see these soon in stock. So in terms of Virginia, it'll be an ABC soon. Yep. Okay. Peace.